All right, so uh, I haven't done one of these in a while. Um, but, uh, you know, here's my um, here's my Aether Raids uh, offense for this week. Now, the reason I, I decided to do it this week is because uh, this is the week where um, it looks like... Actually, we should go check that. I thought originally that rank... No, it's not. Let's see, what am I looking for here? I thought originally current standing that last week your performance last week put you into tier 30 whatever right in the high tiers but it was looking like to, this was the first week they were going to start implementing that but i'm not entirely sure anymore we'll see top players at 1436 yeah i'm not sure it unfortunately it doesn't tell me what tier they are so i don't know if they're in tier you know 30 whatever um this guy's got wow they pulled this guy and they gave him spencer's bow and not his regular bow <laughs> there goes my uh my video out the window yeah that's kind of interesting and it's not even refined wait does can you refine smith yeah you, yeah you can that's kind of weird that's interesting they just like pulled him and then just like dumped all their resources into them and then just <laughs> stuck him on the thing that's kind of weird um Sorry, I'm kind of like um, sidetracked here. This is this is it right here. You, you want this? Um, heavy blade. What's mine have? Oh, mine has what's it called? Damn, it's a plus ten. It's pretty interesting. Uh, this is basically what I kind of want, except I need this to be a, a damaging special, and not a uh, not a gale force. Um, but anyway, let's yeah, let's not get distracted here. Yeah, so I don't know. I have no idea. Fourteen thirty-six. I have thirteen something. <laughs> They're only slightly higher than I am. Um. But, yeah, so I, I, I think this is the first season we're going to be put into it. If you make it into Tier 20, whatever, you'll, you'll be up there. I think it's Tier 27, Tier 28. Um, and funnily enough, also this week, uh, if I do well on both of these matches, which I have 190, so I should have um, uh, two matches. And then uh, if I do both of these matches and I succeed, which it will be kind of easy because it's obviously it's Astro season, um, I should make it up to tier 28, which is pretty cool. Um, <laughs> yeah, so uh, hopefully I'll be thrown into the, the whatever next season. Now I want I also want to so I want to kind of I wanted to make a few discussion points here, but I think I'll save those for another video. Um, one of the things I found kind of interesting, well I guess I'll probably talk about it here. Um, one of the things I found kind of interesting is my defense this week has been pretty easy. Like nobody seems to know what is going on. Like. I've never fought people so bad at the game is basically my, my the point I'm saying. Um, and I think, and it's not to like necessarily uh, speak negatively about all these players. They're not like bad players necessarily. But what I, my, I, I just, I question why I'm being paired up with, basically I'm being paired down constantly. And also another thing I wanted to point out, let's go check here. No, that's not it. Uh, my rank, I am like on the doorstep of tier 27 and i am ranked fifteen thousand. in general when i'm at this level i have been ranked significantly higher like we're talking like six thousand seven thousand no six five thousand six thousand and lower right i have been so i have no idea what's going on with the numbers i mean it, I, I noticed that from the very beginning because every every day you play and you do your best and you you know score high now granted I'm only in the top 6,000 usually every single day. If I if I do well, sometimes I'll mess up and like miss a unit or something. Um, but every day, you know, I'm around 6,000. Obviously, I can't get that much higher because I don't have um, enough merges on my mythic units compared to a lot of these higher tier players. But I, I've been perfect basically all week, and I've been so low rank. And I wonder if it's because this like that's what made me think maybe it has to do with this. Like everybody who's just been autoing and just sitting at tier 21. Or, you know, because every week you just sit at 221. I think maybe they're all starting to, like, push forward to see to try to get in there. To try to just, like, uh, chill at tier 30 whatever now. Right? That's kind of what I think is going on. And, and I found that kind of interesting. Um, because now it's making it easier for me on defense and offense. Because I'm just, like, perfecting everything I've gone through. Because these have been some of some the easiest matches, like, all year. Um, I, have, I haven't fought, like, I haven't even fought, like, one cav line whatsoever. And I also think that, like, part of this that's making these things easier is also people realizing that they're, like... Some people have had really, so really solid defenses for a long time. But I think the, the, the fact that you need to now score highly... Because even if you have a really good defense, you're still going to, like... 
you're still going to lose most of the time. So, you know, I think some people are changing up their defenses now and making sure they're including a bunch of the mythic units. Uh, and it's kind of throwing off how some of their defenses work. And I think my audio is janky again. Hold on, let me see if... Uh... Yeah, I think I'm just going to lower that for now because it's being really weird. Um, the point being that I think uh, to a rather large degree... The fact that everybody's pushing up and everybody's kind of like, you know, scrambling to try to get into tier 30, whatever, it's changing up the meta a little bit. Like, I, you know, th this could also just be that I'm down here and I'm only fighting, you know, f rank 15 players, right? Um, but I think people are kind of messing up some of their defenses and, and making sure they have these uh, units that here and there to, to try to succeed, even if it costs them like more victories because now it's like suboptimal team design. But I don't know. I have no idea. Um, it's very interesting to see that I'm so low rank and I'm like right on the precipice of tier 27 and tier 28. Like if I succeed here, I'll be in tier 28, which is like the highest tier I've ever been in my entire <laughs> Aether Raids career. Um, so yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, the bonus units this week are in fact, um, Altina has been kind of useful. Just kind of throwing her in there and she kills a lot of things <laughs> just weirdly enough. Um, what were the other things I wanted to mention? I guess, yeah, I mean, I, I wonder what, how bad it's going to be <laughs> if, if I make it up there. Um, so yeah, I don't know. That was kind of the, something I thought was interesting. It's just, I feel like people are just kind of coming out of the woodwork and, and, and trying their best now to try to like get in there. And it's 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 messing, it's throwing off the, the, the ranking calculations. Not throwing them off. I mean, they're still accurate. It's just that there's now a lot more people, right? Because your rank is based on how much lift you have. So I have this much lift. Which basically means that 15,000 other people have at least this much lift or more. Which before, those people probably wouldn't have had that lift because they were just coasting and they were just, you know, auto-battling and, you know, whatever. I'll just stay, stay at tier 21. Um, but yeah, so I, I just found that kind of interesting. So uh, enough of that. Uh, let's just get in there. Um, yeah. As you can see here, I'm a degenerate. I'm using uh, Bector because he just destroys everything. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's get in there. I actually, and I also have, I think, actually, have I perfected? I guess I have perfected uh, theoretically, but like I think I've used an escape ladder. Let's go check the map real quick. Uh, so I should have four, unless I have three. Yeah, four. Okay, so I use one, which is not that bad, but it is what it is. Um, again, this, this is what I'm talking about. Like, look at this team. This team looks like pretty easy. I mean, I could just be underestimating them, which it's not like it's, it has, hasn't happened before, but. Uh, like the the play here is just to barrel down this way and then put Felicia here to snipe her. I guess maybe have to maybe Toasty Skewer is gonna be a oh well she's not even a plus anything she's got an attack bane. So yeah I guess I mean she's probably not gonna be she's just giving people stats basically. Uh she's he's giving out he's basically reducing his oh no no man that's not the visible one. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess this doesn't, I mean, it looks pretty easy to me, but maybe I'm, like I said, maybe I'm wrong. Um, yeah, let's see, what is this? Not even, it's like no one here has merged past like five, except for him. Two, one, yeah, like all these, this is bad. Let's see, what, what are you merged? Three? Yeah, see? See, this is what I'm talking about. Like, I think I've just been pared down, but you know, like I said, <laughs> I could just be underestimating them. So this is going to hit these three. And uh, like this is this is a clear example. Like nobody in tier twenty eight or whatever, highest tiers of this game, should have a. If you're gonna have the the healing tower, it should never be below you know the max. This is like one of the most important towers because bolt tower is one of the most important towers on offense. Um. So yeah, I guess let's just get in there. I mean, I think Felicia should be able to handle this pretty pretty mightily. Let us put. But you here, I'm going to, I need to pop this one first. Next turn, I'll pop, she'll stand here, pop that one, and then she'll get danced, stand here, and then hit her. And that should be pretty solid, I think. Hmm, I guess this is a pretty interesting um, conundrum to have, because like my debuffs won't reach her. And she's not going to get, um, yeah, she's not going to get a whole lot of debuffs from anything, honestly. So I'm just going to have to straight up fight her, and I might die. <laughs> I might die to her. Uh, we'll see, I guess. Unless... Unless I find some way to like hit her from the side here. 
I don't really want to mess up the plan though. I just want to kind of have Felicia and come over here and dumpster all of these people. Uh, what does this do? Reduces attack and speed by three. I think she has the highest combination. Uh, what do you have? No, no. Oh, she does. So I think she's going to get debuffed by this, which kind of saves me a little bit. Um, saved by the mandatory building, I guess. Uh, let's. So she's going to come up here, just hit this, and then run away. And that's basically going to be the gist of it. Do I need any? Yeah, so she got hit by the three, so she's got... She's being dropped by three each. Oh, seven because of something. Oh, yeah, that's right. She has chill speed. There we go. Okay, so that gives me um, plus 10 attack on her. Uh, minus seven speed gives me 50. Eight speed difference plus I've got... Oh, no, this is the defense one. Yeah, I think I think we'll be fine. Um, let's move you up here. Put you here. I'm going to dance you. And we're going to move you back this way. Uh, does this... Do I need to hit this? Not really. Uh, you've got panic. The rest of these have minus seven. So I'm just going to hit this. Do I have animations turned on? Settings? Animations? No, I don't. Okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, there's really no reason to, like, do what I was going to do there. Um... Yeah, like I said, like some of these are, are kind of easy. I'm not sure what what went, what's going on here. See, so can I just kill her? Yeah, I can just kill her outright. Um, it's not the best idea. Now she won't hit me. He's gonna come fight me, but he's probably just gonna die. I mean, he doesn't like really hit very hard. Um, and she doesn't hit hard, and she's just gonna be irritating. I'd rather just uh, make sure all these, like, yeah, I'd rather just, hmm, because if I kill her, the problem is going to be that one of these people here is going to, like, try to move, okay, so here, here, here's my, here's my thought, if I kill her, the problem is, what, some of these people are going to try to fight me, and then she's going to try to dance them, and clear the debuffs they have, and it's going to be hard to fight with them, so, I think I should just snipe her. I can only fight him, her, and she's just going to fight me, but she's not going to do very much damage. I think that's the play. I think I'm just going to kill her and see what happens. Because the only threats are her and her, and they're not even really that big a threat anyway. Let's just kill you. Okay. Let's see how this how this plays out. So seven, like I said, she's not gonna do very much damage. Funnily enough, this means let's see how Veronica moves. Okay, so Veronica moved there, which means that Reinhardt can't get me. So basically, this was the best case scenario. <laughs> Sadly enough for them. Um. So. Now she's debuffed by five and seven here and four. Okay, so basically, like I said, best case scenario happened. So I'm going to hit this because I have to hit that. Okay, so they got debuffed by four. Like, Plumeria is such a, like, perfect... Um, like you can see here, she's not even like boosted or anything. I, I just I need to put like a fortress res here, or maybe like a fortress res defense. That might be pretty good. And she's got fifty res, and now basically no one can escape her sabotage, right? And sabotage speed is one of the better ones to have. Uh, but I don't have anything else. Like I mean, I, I really need to figure out what to do about uh, like these two. But like as you can see, like a plus one, she's already just dumb. She gives you f uh, four speed to Felicia. She debuffs everybody by four, which basically means you're boosting um, Felicia's attack by 16 at the very least. Uh, and then boosting her attack and speed by three. And then boosting her res and attack by three. Like, it's just dumb. It's dumb. <laughs> There's nothing else to say about that. Um, so he has Times Pulse at the start of turn one. So that was supposed to, like, do something to me. But now I can just, uh, thanks to Pulse Smoke and how broken daggers are, <laughs> I can just do this. 
Look at that, 70 attack. 70 damage. That's ridiculous. Uh, so now not, now that she's gone, um, she was providing everybody with... Uh, let's see, what is this here? Yeah, she was providing everybody with um, plus 3 attack speed and then reducing my defense res by 3 because that's what the staff refine does. But now that's gone and like she's not going to do any damage. I mean, she's probably going to hit me decently hard and he might do some damage and she might do some damage. But she's being like, oh, this is ridiculous. Um, I'm going to put her here because I have um, the distant guard here. And I might actually give her like a distant guard or something right here. That'd be pretty good. Hopefully, I mean, does anybody have pass? I'm just like really paranoid because this is way too easy. It seems way too easy. I'm about to get into tier 28 with this. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess. Not a whole lot else. Uh, but one of the one of the things that I mentioned when Plumeria came out was I didn't really want to summon for her because I didn't really need her at the time. But the fact that we have Regan and now I can just have another extra unit means that I didn't have to pick. Um, I didn't have to pick between you know Tethys and Plumeria. I could just run both of them, <laughs> and it wasn't even a big deal. Um, so yeah, that's 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 pretty awesome because not only do I get uh the sabotage here, I get all of these wonderful things I just mentioned. I also get the Tamari, which, you know, perfect. Another Dancer, the Sudden Panic, and then, I mean, this, I guess. <laughs> it's not that big a deal, but it's still, it's, it's all right. It's nice to be there. I might replace this with, like, a Rush or something, because uh, that might be pretty good. Uh, but I'll have to see. Um, so, yeah, I mean, let's just play it out, I guess. It's not much else. I should have done this on turn two. And then, like, now, on my turn coming up, I would have had the... Um, the bolt tower ready to go so she hits me for two i had 32 plus 32 attack <laughs> what little good that did me 17 59 well just one shot her and this is kind of just to show you how strong broadly fan is that i have like the weakest possible like like she's like it, it's kind of no stretch to say that felicia is basically like the worst um more or less the worst broadly fan user you could you could choose um and even still she's just so much stronger than like anything people can set, kind of set up against her um so yeah there you go if you want to if you want broadly if you want to use whatever dagger listen this is the point whatever dagger you want to use whatever dagger unit is your favorite go build them broadly fan and you've got a competitive unit right like that's what's so awesome about it is that like you can use whoever you want, right? Don't let anybody tell you, you know, otherwise. I think I'm just going to kill him because she's going to hit me and still do, still do no damage. Um, but, of course, like I said, this is you're kind of fighting against uh, lower tier people. So, you know, take that for what you will. But I think in my some of my previous videos, you've all seen, you know, to some degree what, like, how good she is against, like, actually, like, difficult to fight against people. Um, the reason I have Vector, right, is just because sometimes, like, it's not so much that Felicia's too weak, it's so much that the situation does not allow for a CC Vantage dagger unit to, to, to do very good there. Um, and plus, sometimes it's just fun to use Bector because he's so broken. <laughs> Bector. I wish I had a plus 10 Bector. Like, 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 in terms of male units that I, I would pull for power over, like, like favor, the way I, you know, Felicia or, or like I said, like, the, the only uh, plus 10... A pay to win unit I've ever plus 10 or wanted a plus 10 was in fact that Byleth. Um, but if I were ever to consider one more and it wasn't because I liked her, I mean, she's also very strong, but she's not really useful in a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff. She's only really useful in specific situations. Uh, if I were to choose like a guy, it would probably be <laughs> Bector. <laughs> like that dude is so dumb these days. Uh, so we're in tier 27 and we're only in tier in rank 9,000. Right it, it, to, to to put it in perspective is what I'm saying is I do really think that a lot of people are just like coming out of the woodwork and making sure that they, they get into tier or whatever so it's dra it's dragging everybody else kind of down a little bit um so yeah there we go nothing nothing else to it but to get this last one fortunately I have um four escape ladders so we can you know we got four tries at this let's go take a look here. And again, like, like, what is this team? Like, I think I won by default here because none of this seems very threatening. 
except for maybe Surtur, but even Surtur is not that big a deal. Do I even have, actually, he might be pretty, well, see, even Surtur gets taken care of easily by um, Altina, because she just quads him. Can she? Maybe. I think she can now with these, um, these stat bonuses. 15, I think she gets like 4, 19 or something, and then I could probably boost up her speed and drop everybody else's speed by 5. I think she could actually just quad Surtur, that'd be hilarious to see. Um, and if not that, I mean, she could probably double Surtur and he'll die, you know what I mean? Like, let's see, do I have anyone better for this job? No, Surtur kind of makes Bector uh, unable to be used here. You're still not ready, unfortunately. Uh, obviously, you're a ways off. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, let's let's uh, yeah, let's just get in there, I guess. Uh, not only that, I have my Bolt Tower, which I think should hit him. No, it doesn't. It only hits uh, Duma. So what are you? You're at plus four. Duma's pretty dangerous usually. Uh, he can. He has two movement. He has one movement, so he's not as bad. Um, this is the problem with Duma, though, is that like I can put Felicia here uh, after having the the Naga. Like this is what's so great. Like a lot of people really hate on Naga a lot, but I actually love Naga because this Divine Fang is so good because uh, dragons are just like they're not even a big a, that big a threat. But like now they're literally no threat at all because I could just one shot a dragon, and, and it's more clear uh, here. It, it's more clear because on light season I don't have any anti dragon. Uh, abilities like like you know if I fight a dragon I just you know I'm gonna have to deal with it um, and sometimes they get annoying they're not always really that strong but they are really kind of annoying at times so uh, and this one we can just kind of go through this a little sooner like quicker because I don't have to worry about these pots um, oh not only that yeah see I forgot I had uh, Regan like sometimes you just forget you have Regan right uh, but I have Regan so basically what that means is that Regan can hit his res with her special charged already, which, funnily enough, uh, I've been trying to, I've been um, HM farming my uh, Roy, my Cab Roy, because uh, he has Gale Force, and I just want to like fodder it off of him, but I want to get all his uh, his feathers first. But in that time, I'm really starting to like doubt myself in terms of running Gale Force because this special is actually pretty dumb. Like it just destroys like so many units. It's not even funny. Uh, the fact that it just charges itself on turn one is pretty good too. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I think the play here is uh, to keep. We're gonna keep uh, Naga next to Felicia the entire time, so she gets the buff, and then um, we'll put next we'll put her here, and then Felicia will just or uh, Naga will come down here and boost her up here. Uh, she'll trigger this and not really that be that concerned. Stand here, kill him right off the bat, and then. Uh, deal with whatever's coming our way from the rest of these now sh they don't have any dancers this is one of the bigger problems with like certain teams always always you want at least one dancer on your defense team like you need to like yeah you just need to try your best to try to put a dancer there because if you don't have a dancer you're reducing your range by an excessive amount now julia can't do anything because she's too far off this way right now what would be kind of good would be maybe if she had wait 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 a minute let's take a look here Jason to any ally. Oh, okay. There we go. So that's good. So there you go. Because of this, she will stand here where I killed uh, Duma and then hit my Felicia. Um, I wonder if I can survive that. It'd be kind of interesting to see. Uh, she doesn't have enough speed to double me. She reduces everything by two. Uh, I don't have Felicia's old thing anymore. She gives herself res. I'm hitting her defense. Distant defense. Res Oath. She's going to hit pretty hard, but I don't think she can kill me without a double. Uh, the problem being that uh, I think the rest of these guys, like, he might be able to kill me. Yeah, that's a pretty good, uh, that's a pretty good fork. Yeah, I mean, I guess we'll have to find out. Uh, but there you go. You need something like this, where you're giving your, your units more range, more movement. Or you need a dancer. Uh, I think I'd prefer a dancer maybe to this, but that's probably because on defense I have, not only do I have this built in, which is flyer formation, um, but I also have a dancer. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and later, up after after I finish this, I'm going to record the um, defense results and we'll see what's going on there. Um, and I'll, I, have to, I, have a, I have to talk about um, building my defense and all that stuff, and that'll be all in that video. 
But yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. We're just going to barrel down this way. And this, again, this only heals for 25, which is dumb. 7, 5, okay. So she's at he, he's at 11 speed, and she's at 19 speed. So she can double him, or quad him. And the only reason I, I, I remember this is because I fought against a... Uh, <laughs> I fought against a green... Uh, well, she's only green, right? Um, what's her name? Edelgard, like the big tanky one, like a plus 10. She's got like... She had like 60 defense because uh, she had two Thurseers. Uh, I wish I could have recorded that fight. It was so funny. And I was like stressing out the entire fight. Like, how am I going to stop this 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 <laughs> this juggernaut of a human being? Um, but the, the it just turned out that like... <laughs> The only thing I need to do was, um, let's see, what, do I want to put her forward? I want, I think I do want to put her a little f more forward, but I don't want to get in the way of these two. I'll right, we'll put her here. So I'm going to put you here, you here, you here. We'll put you here, and we'll uh, put you there. Uh, but yeah, she had like 60 defense, and like I, I was like, I'm, there's no way. Like, even Felicia will be able to deal with this. And, uh, well, she did. She just quadded her and <laughs> she died. Oh, man. 60 defenses ain't nothing uh, to a quadding Altina. Oh, that's very interesting. I originally I had thought that only he had. He had that one that, like, lets you move if you have 100%, but he has the armor march so that she, he can move too. I'm kind of dumb. Um, I can boost her up forward, hit him, and then just run away. I think I'm going to do that. It's actually a better plan, honestly. Let's uh, hit you. So you're dead. Yeah, I'm a dragon effective satyr shell. That was funny because it's 72 damage. Uh, but because of uh, her staff, it's it's not 72. It's less. Um, I will need to dance you. I'm going to move her this way. We don't need her dragon effectiveness anymore. So, funnily enough, I don't know. I'm not sure this used to show, but maybe it did. Maybe I'm just kind of dumb. Um, but now you can see their range. You can see where she can, she can stand here and snipe you here. Um, so I'm going to pull you this way and we're going to put you here. I'm going to put you over here somewhere. I just need her to like run around doing something. Let's hit this not have to. Well, actually I can't. I'll have to hit this and we will put you there. So let's see how they move. Okay. Okay, so my goal was primarily that I needed to, to snipe her and I hoped she would move out of the way, but um, it's not looking like that's the case. Uh, and then unfortunately I don't have uh, what I need to to be able to kill her to kill him. 49. I've only got I only do 10 damage to him. This is like the perfect time I need to because I need to kill her right away because she's the only threat on the team. I mean, she's a decent threat, but she's nowhere near uh, what's her name. Now, these these blocks here are positioned pretty well. Um, yeah. What to do, what to do. Let's just uh, go here. Okay, so we know that's not real. So we know this one's real. I was actually it might have been kind of dumb because, yeah, I don't think that <laughs> I don't think that did anything I anything helpful whatsoever. Um, I guess my the only hope now would be to to have her like dance her, have her hit him and just kill him. Uh, assuming that this is not real, let's find out. This is gonna be really bad if it, if it is real. Yep, that's all right. So we'll do this. Oh, actually, I think I'm fine here. Well, fine to <laughs> to a degree. 
Uh, so there you go, he's dead. Uh, now I can dance her and snipe her, right? And now that leaves Thrasir, her, who's probably not going to do a whole lot. Well, she's probably just going to come over here, um, heal him, and then pull him back. Um, yeah, so I think I'm just going to do this. Um, so that basically leaves Thrasir with only two options. Either she hits Felicia or she hits um, her, and she won't be able to do very much against um, 45 res and another three from this. So 48 res, not to mention she also has the uh, deflect magic. Um, uh, man, it just makes it so much easier not having to deal with the... Um, Getting getting these. I mean, I probably could get them in this match. I just like have her hit this and then hit that one next, and then have Felicia like over here and snipe this one or something like that. But this is not a very good idea to just like group everyone up like this because we're just gonna get um, panic smoked. But that's fine. Okay, so let's see how they react. Okay, so she healed them and pulled them back and pulled them out of range. Basically, is what the point there was. She hits me once, and I can just one tap her back for fifty-two. Oh, actually, she's not gonna die. I don't think. Yeah, because of the um, the reduction from this, is <laughs> something to keep in mind. Um, so now we have a problem. This guy is is a little too tanky. Yeah, he's very tanky. What's your speed? Can you quad him? Mm. <laughs> it doesn't matter. She's still uh. <laughs> Let's see. Let's um. Snipe, yeah, okay, I have an idea, okay. We're gonna snipe you here. Okay, we are going to dance her. We can now hit him because if unit is within two spaces of an ally, grants this, and so his, his attack and defense are not getting that plus four and his penalties are not being reduced, is what the point there is. Um, however, we still can't kill him, apparently. Damn, he has like seven to everything and a five there. I can't double him for some reason. Is it because he's yeah, he's got the thing. Okay. Okay, so she still does like no damage. So thirty half of Half of 68 is 34, right? So if he's 34 or lower, I can double him afterwards, and he's not. So I hit him for 30, and then I'm going to dance her, hit him for another 30, and he's still not going to die. <laughs> That's kind of irritating. I think, no, actually, I think I'll be fine here. Let's try this. So we'll do this. Hit him for 30, okay. Let's try to, no, that's not doing anything. So there we go. So someone's gonna die here, unfortunately. Oh no, she's not. Okay, just, there you go. Okay, I was worried someone's gonna die, but basically we can do this. Oh, and then she can do that. Uh, she can kill him. Uh, my original plan was to like do what I just did there. He would be at thirty-eight, so I would come up here and dance her, and then hit him and see if she could like one-shot him even. Um, at thirty-eight, after she'd get a plus three attack. Um, and maybe just reduce him by more, but I don't think no, nah, I don't think she would have done it. Uh, so fortunately, uh, Regan is was strong enough to deal some damage to this guy, so it's pretty good. Uh, basically, what this means though now is I can just one, uh, you know, fight him. Uh, Plumeria can destroy him. There we go. Uh, then we can do this. Now, she's going to come over here and just hit Felicia, but she's not going to do anything because um, it, it is just Flane after all. This is kind of one of the reasons I took her off my defense was because you need more aggression. Like, Flane is there so that you can survive the initial, like, you know, the initial hit. Like, I come in here and I hit it, I try to sniper unit, and I can't because Flane has a lot of reduction. Um, but... 
Uh, the problem is you need your units to stay together and like, you know, around each other. And once you start sniping things and, and hitting certain weak points, like they all just kind of fall apart, which, you know, it relies too much on the, uh, on the AI to know what the hell it's doing. Uh, so here's this and there we go. Another successful week with, uh, Felicia <laughs> dunking on everybody. <laughs> That's kind of interesting. I think she takes out on oh, her mind. There we go. Uh, so there we go. That's how you do it. Reagan is just a really good unit. <laughs> uh, so let's go take a look here and what happens. So we're in tier 28. We made it. Uh, I'm in, wow, I'm in top 2000. I've never <laughs> been that high before. Uh, now the only thing is to hopefully we don't get attacked too much. There's only four hours left. I don't think I'll be attacked in that time, but <laughs> uh, probably will be. Um, let's go check where we are. So we're here. We are at 1940. So we have 114 points to lose and we'll get knocked out of tier 28. So even if I do lose on defense, the highest I can lose is 74 on defense, which means that I can't get out of tier 28. So I made it to tier 28. Uh, this is the first time I think I'll get a blue chair. Yeah. Oh, the first time I get a rich, no third time. Well, I have a few of them already. Um, but yeah, finally, so this is pretty cool. Uh, I couldn't make it into tier into, you know, the top 1000. Um, <laughs> as you can see, I have very low merges in all my, uh, Astro units, uh, which is going to be the main, the main cause of that. But, uh, as long as you can make it up here, like this is why they give you the three chairs here and here. Cause the three chairs here, cause getting up here just gives you more rewards, but you don't get more chairs. The, the red chair here basically just means that you're as good as these guys. You just don't have merges is what it kind of comes down to. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, so hopefully, um, there wasn't a whole lot, I guess you could gleam from this, unfortunately, um, just because, um, just because there's not, like, like I said, these are very easy matches, you guys could see that, like, none of these were even remotely difficult to figure out, I didn't, I, all week I have not fought a single, um, cav line, um, so yeah, I don't know, I'm just, it, it's kind of interesting that things turned out this way, um, not sure what it means um, going forward. I wonder how difficult um, tier 30 whatever is going to be. Uh, but yeah, I mean, for, for now, we, we did pretty well. Uh, this is the highest I've ever gotten, the highest uh, position I've ever gotten up past uh, tier two, uh, two th two thousandth place, not let alone 1800. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I'm uh, pretty excited, pretty glad that Felicia got us there. And, um, you know, we'll see how we'll see how Norn and everybody does next uh, next season. Uh, who's actually next? Uh, so yeah so yeah plumeria is going to be there so that's going to be pretty easy or not plumeria um, peony is going to be there so that's pretty easy uh, basically it means basically if peony is there it means that i can run um not only can i run the aversa which i usually do run anyway but i can run aversa paired with uh bridal micaiah and for those of you who know who already know you know <laughs> instinctively what or not instinctively habitually or or, or conditioned already know who what Brian Makaya does that's a lot of damage that's a lot of true damage on top of the fact that Norn can just kill most units without that true damage to begin with <laughs> um but yeah so that's that uh yeah uh the next video will be maybe out later today or probably tomorrow just going over my defense going over uh what I think you guys should, like if, if for anybody taking pointers from me about the flyer bomb um and all that kind of stuff will be out later um Talking about what I should change going into the new season now that we're going to be in tier 30, whatever. Uh, so, yeah, all that stuff is basically what I'm going to go over um, in the next video. And, and, you know, that's that. So, see you guys then.